Hey, good morning, church family. Listen, um, I didn't preach yesterday. Obviously, Seth did, and didn't he do a great job? So what I want to do this morning in this, um, what I wish I'd said, I didn't preach again, so it's not what I wish I'd said. Um, I just want to highlight a little characteristic of Jesus, right? Seth did such a great job pointing out how that word in John 15 that we translate cut off can actually mean lift up in the Greek. And I love that because here's the, here's the truth. You and I both are going to go through seasons where we feel like we we're pretty sure we're connected to the vine, but we're not bearing fruit. And I want you to know that Jesus sees us in those moments. He's a great gardener. And he's not looking to get rid of you or me because we're not good Christians. He's looking to lift us up and prune away the things that are maybe suffocating us so that we can bear the fruit that he called us to bear. And it reminded me of this passage in Isaiah 42. It's a passage written prophetically about Jesus. And I just want to read it over you just so you can hear the the compassion and the care in who Jesus is to us today. So if you're feeling like like Seth talked about, that vine, the branch that's on the ground, and you just feel like you're way down and you're not doing the things that God's called you to do, you're in a, a discouraging season, I want you to hear these words, and I want you to picture Jesus in front of you as I read it. It says, Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one in whom I delight. I, God, will put my spirit on him, Jesus, and he will bring justice to the nations. He will not shout or cry out or raise his voice in the streets. Do you get that? He's not scolding you or me. A bruised reed he will not break, and a smoldering wick he will not snuff out. In faithfulness, He will bring forth justice. He will not falter or be discouraged until he establishes justice on earth. In his teaching, the islands will put their hope. He's not looking to extinguish you nor me. He is looking to uphold us, to lift us up. The Bible says he's the lifter of our heads so that we can bear good fruit. And guess what? Here's the good news. Not only can we, but we will. You will bear good fruit when you're connected to Jesus. When you are a branch that's been grafted into the vine, you don't have any choice but to bear good fruit because the gardener is working hard in faithfulness and gentleness and love and mercy to make sure that you do. I want you to walk this week with that good news and be encouraged that he sees you, he's lifting you up, And he is supporting you and you will bear good fruit.